Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be covering a very small topic and that is going to be context menus. Context menus are extremely easy to use and can be really helpful when you want to get a quick action done such as reporting a member, banning a member, kicking a member, responding to a message, flagging a message, any type of quick action that can be done to a member or a message. So first let's go over to Discord and see exactly what a context menu is and what we're going to be making today. So if I were just to send a message, I can go ahead and right click on it and you'll see this says apps and then I have repeat this message. This is one that I made before the video and when I press this, the bot will repeat exactly what the message says. So if I say hello and I click on it, um, repeat this message, it will send back and you can do whatever actions you want from this. So yeah, that is a context menu. So diving right in, I always like to start at the documentation to see exactly what we're making. So this is the documentation for the context menu. I will leave this down below. And as you can see, it takes a couple parameters, um, which are listed down here. The name is what's required, and we're going to be placing a name in here to name our context menu. Um, NSFW, just if you want it to be NSFW flagged, it'll only work in those channels. Um, and these two, I would not worry about it. Um, the only parameter that you really worry about is name. Um, as that's what's going to be popping up when you press apps, that's the name that'll be there. So here are a few examples. I see we have async, def, react, and then we're always going to take interaction. And then also, um, we're either going to have message here or we're going to have user here. And that's going to be a type of discord.message or discord.member. These are the only two accepted things. Or you can have a typing.union, um, but that typing.union will either be a member or user anyway. So for now, these two, you can look into using typing.unions, but... Just know Discord message or Discord member is only action. If you try to put something like um, guild dot or Discord dot voice channel or something like that, it won't work and it will give you an error. Um, so yeah, interaction and then user or message is what you need there. And then under here you can do whatever code you want. So with that being said, let's go right into the code. So heading over to Visual Studio Code, let's go ahead and make that context menu that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And that'll start with a simple header of at client dot tree dot context underscore menu and then we can open it up and place our name inside of here so the name of this one will be repeat we'll do the same thing and just a note that um, context menus there's a couple different reasons that i actually looked up before this context menus can't actually be placed inside of a cog or a group um, and the main reason for that is that right now at the moment there's no subclassing for context menus there's no way to do that at the moment and if there was it wouldn't be related to cogs or groups it would be kind of in its own category so placed inside of a cog one wouldn't make sense to be able to like um, differentiate them between groups so as of now um, context menus have to be placed outside of classes or cogs which does kind of suck um, because in order to reset them or if you're messing with the code you'd have to like restart the bot or the entire file as itself so it's a little bit annoying but yeah just letting you know um, anyways, moving on. Now we're going to start our header, which is async def, call whatever. I'm going to repeat. Remember, it goes interaction of a type of discord.interaction. And then it will be either the member or the user, or it'll be message. So for this, we want to repeat the message. So it's going to be message of type discord.message. And then below this, we're just going to repeat exactly what the message content was. So we're going to say, um, await interaction dot response dot send underscore message and then we are going to um, we'll, we'll format this a little better so we'll f-string this and we'll say um, this is your message slash in to go to the next line and then we'll place it in graves and this will be message dot content and actually we'll format it a little bit better and we'll put the author as well so we'll do message oops mess message dot author dot display underscore name and then yep we can put this actually we'll, we won't put this as an ephemeral we'll leave it like that so there we go this should be working if we go ahead and run the bot or we'll actually have to restart it there we go and then we head over to discord um let's see if it's in so um hello world Let's see if it's updated by now. Apps. Okay, this is still the old one. So I'm going to wait for it to refresh, and I'll be back once it's refreshed. 
Okay, I am back, and after a few minutes, it has updated and it's working. So if I go ahead and right click on this, press apps, press repeat, you can see this is your message, that's my name, and then it has what my message was. You can see if I change this to anything. Hello, YouTube. And then apps, repeat, you can see it'll repeat exactly what the message was. And you can do whatever action you want from this. Um, for example, if this was a bad message and you wanted mo you were moderating it, like I said something, um, you could click on it, click apps, and I can have one to you know, kick it or uh, kick the member, or I can have one to ban the member, time out the member, whatever you want. This is a really good moderation tool if you see a, um, a bad message in particular that you want to moderate. Um, and the flip side of that is using it for members. So if we go ahead and go back over to Visual Studio Code, let's make another one at client.tree, oops, tree.context, and for menu, name, and this one, um, we will just make a user info little thing that will just display some information about the user. So user info, async def, user info, interaction, underscore dot interaction, um, and we do user, and this one will be type hinted of discord dot member. And then we can say await interaction dot response dot send message <clears throat> and then uh, user info on user dot display underscore name. So what can we say about this user? We can say when they joined. I'm trying to think of different attributes. Um, user dot joined at. This will be not formatted correctly, but it's fine. Um, you can say well, like their account age or something like that. Let's see, uh, user dot, let's see what we can do. User dot their avatar, um, user dot created at, user dot discriminator, user dot display name. Uh, what else can we put about them? Actually, something else we can do. Uh, dimension, do their role, oh, top role, I know is one. Uh, what else? User dot. We'll do user dot status. So we'll display user join that, the user top role, the user status, um, and we'll list out the roles. So user dot roles. Um, yeah. So this won't be formatted great. Um, I definitely could do a lot better, but it's all right. Just for this demonstration, you get the idea. So if we go back to Discord and we find a member, so you can right click here, you can right click here, you can right click over here. We'll do it on this admin that we have. Press apps, press user info. And as you can see, user info on Fire OP. This is the date when they joined. This is their top role, their status, and then all the roles that they have. So at everyone, um, the role ID of verified and the role ID of admin. If you click on them, you can see that's his two roles plus his role of at everyone. So yeah, that is the two different forms of context menus. Currently, that's the only two that are supported. Um, but you can do a lot of very useful things with this like i said moderation and chat and just through members is the opportunities are very high with this so yeah that's context menus very simple and short thank you guys for watching um, there will be more videos coming soon so stay tuned yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day peace out